India's National Investigation Agency has arrested two accused, including the mastermind behind the Bengaluru Rameshwaram Cafe Blast that took place last month. Now, the two accused have been arrested near the eastern city of Kolkata. As per reports, the NIA has apprehended Muzaffir Hussain Shazib, who is the key accused, who allegedly placed the IED at the Bengaluru Cafe, and Abdul Mathin Taha, the alleged mastermind behind the planning and execution of the blast. The two accused are residents of Karnataka's Shivamoga district. Now, these are the second and third arrests in this case. Last month, Muzammil Sharif, who extended logistical support to the Shazeb and Taha partnership, was taken into custody. The blast occurred at the famous cafe in the southern city on the 1st of March. At least 10 people in the explosion following the blast. The Karnataka police identified a suspect in the CCTV footage who used an IED device with a timer to carry out the explosion. After a few days, NIA also released the picture of the bombing wearing a cap Black pants and black shoes. The NIA had announced a bounty of rupees 10 lakh or approximately that is $12,000 for information about the bomber as well. The NIA has conducted active searches to find the people behind the blast. The terror probe agency conducted raids, searches at 18 locations in states of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh to arrest the accused persons. They have now traced the prime accused near Kolkata where they were reportedly hiding under false identities. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by our correspondent Siddharth MP. Siddharth, of course, uh, big, big revelations which have come in that case. NIA has been on the lookout since the time the blast took place. What have you picked up from ground? So, Shivan, certainly this is a major breakthrough coming in from the National Investigation Agency, the premier agency in India responsible for probing cases against terrorism. What we have to recall is it's just one and a half months since this incident took place. It's exactly on March 1st that this bomb went off around lunchtime at the Rameshwaram Cafe, just about 12.51 p.m. That's when the bomb went off about a month and a half ago. And then here we are with a major breakthrough, NIA nabbing both the primary suspects in the case, one of course being the bomber, and the other being the major conspirator, Shazid the bomber and Taha, the, you know, uh, person who's the mastermind behind this attack. What we have to keep in mind is that this is a multi-state coordinated uh, effort by the NIA because there are state police agencies from Kerala, from Karnataka, from West Bengal who actually work very closely with the National Investigation Agency to nab the duo because this is also a very sensitive time in India because, you know, this is the time of election, just five days to go for the elections to commence, one week to go for the elections to commence. So this is also a very sensitive time in India and these are known to be people who are linked with the IS module, Islamic State module based in Karnataka. Shivamoga. So this is why this is a major breakthrough because now that the two of them are nabbed, their networks and their possible links can also be traced out and this is a major effort by the National Investigation Agency. Clearly a laudable effort because just one and a half months is the time they have taken and it's also important to look at the sophistication of the uh, perpetrators because you know the, after carrying out the attack in Karnataka they are said to have gone into hiding in southern part of India in parts of Tamil Nadu and then later now they have reached the eastern part, northeastern part of India in Kolkata. So despite Despite all of this, it is known that these people have actually been nabbed. So that is the sophistication of the agencies as well, because that's the kind of effort that they put in to trace them down and then actually nab them at a crucial time for India when the country heads into elections in seven phases over the next month and a half. Shivan. All right, Siddharth, we're going to let you go for now. Of course, big developments and it is definitely a big breakthrough. That was Siddharth MP getting us the latest.